the last kingdom mod my friends and this is the second part my friends of a sort of a double upload a double sort of video to start this campaign and last time my friends we've managed to stabilize the situation here in Scotland we weren't exactly doing sort of we were doing well but Scotland needed that little bit of a boost especially with the income and trade as you can see now we're starting to get that train moving along now because we are at peace with all of our neighbours and indeed we have an alliance with the Welsh, our fellow Celtic brothers. And also the Vikings here now have accepted a ceasefire, have accepted a sort of a treaty of peace here with us. We've also got trade with them which is also excellent. That just calms the situation down here. It gives us time to breathe. It gives us time to get ourselves organised here and also to take land we need to take land we need to take villages quite quickly my friends we've got earmarked here this triumvirate here this tri trio here of lands here Berwick we've got Dumfries here we've also got the land here as well at your service it's in the spy up here just have a quick Moving look quietly. Dun Eden here my friends look at that that is an absolute massive army in there now these are all rebel held villages held towns so we have to put together quite a quite a large force to take care of. As you can see here, Dun Eden here is absolutely packed to the rafters with Celtic Warband. Not brilliant. They've got some hunters here. They've got uh, Pictish spearmen. We've got Norse axemen. Not nothing to be sniffed at at all. Really not. Then we've got the Gaelic, and also last but not least, we've got the Kurada, or Kurada. Yeah, Kurada here. Again, not too bad, but these are, look at that, fierce and wild wolves from the Scottish Highlands. So we've got Highland Warriors, effectively. It's going to be a very, very difficult campaign to remove these rebels here. I dare I say that even the Vikings would struggle against these here. But we have to be careful what we're doing here. We have to find that equilibrium, that fine balance, my friends, between economy and the military here. Because we've got to build up Scotland to a point where it can it can support its its sort of military ventures here, the op military operations work for the cover out here. Although Britain is an vast empire, is neither is Scotland. Scotland is not yet ready to sort of really sort of put itself on the map in terms of exploding out of the blocks and just steamrolling everybody in its path. We're just not that. Even taking one of these towns is going to take a massive amount of sort of military muscle to be able to do that so once again we're going to build from the start because if you look here our finances are not in the finest of shape here only because we're investing we're trying to invest in farmland in mining and getting our trade up here we've got merchant trade now what we are aiming for is to definitely in sort of open up a few more trade ports here so, and to do that we're going to have to clear some of these ports out of the way here so as you can see there coastal clearance we need to get we need to clear sort of we need to make room for sort of uh, we need to clear sort of certain parts of the coastline to be able to facilitate um, ports and trade ports and shipyards and things like that so it costs a lot to get to that point as you can see it allows you to sort of create a harbour clear debris vegetation to be able to build ports it would be ready to take a port so it's not it's not cheap to do that as you can see our finances are a little bit under the weather here that there is only because we've I believe we have started <coughs> Uh, construction. Ah, there it is. There, we're trying to get this barley farm here to increase our um, our tradable goods here, which does, which will increase our trade and, of course, increase our farming, uh, which brings in more income. But again, we've got to really f watch what we're doing here with the finance. We just can't be spending lots and lots of money on the army because we simply don't have the money. It's as simple as that, my friends. Let's just not try and beat around the bush here. We don't have the money with which we should do that. So we've got to live within our means until the point where we can really start stretching our muscles here, stretching our legs as it were, and taking the land. These three land, these three areas here are going to be under our control, believe me. Berwick, Dunedin here, yes, my and king. Dunfermline down here as well. So we are On going to try way. and take these here right in Scotland, Un reunite Scotland. There's also, there's also up here, right in the Highlands here, right here look at that another village here rebel village here which we need to take right in sort of the hebrides which we really would like to take but we we've, we've we've got that sort of comfort zone in terms of the vikings um we've got the trade and as over time our relations will get better with the vikings and get better with the other nations so we really have to be careful what we're doing here and just bide our time it's going to be slow progress but eventually eventually my friends i believe we will be a powerful force to be reckoned with right Nothing else we can really do here. Let's end the turn. And the Frankish Kingdom. I wonder how they are faring. Nothing yet nice and calm here. Oh, you found remember? 
Sinead or Sinead. Ooh, that is a big hit there. Financial is pretty bad there. Overall nine, not too bad. Vikings are the best in military and overall. Kingdom of Cornwall is financially the most stable. Production East Frankish Empire, which I'm not surprised they are huge. Oh, rats, my mistake, my mistake. They're so close together. That was a silly mistake there, but shouldn't be too bad, my friends. Actually give us time to build up a little bit of bank here, so actually that wasn't too much of a problem for us. I meant to do that. We got 1,160 million. As you can see here, that farm, that barley farm has already brought in a lot of income here from the farm. Our trade is going up. Look at that though, the cost of that taxes are sort of limping along at four and a half thousand. If we can push that to five thousand, it will absorb um, a good amount of army upkeep here. As you can see, we just need to keep pushing that on as much as we can. We've got 2,346. Ah, there it is. Barley farm is finished. And we've got 127 profits. Not doing too bad here. We have to let our profits build up a little bit here. At your service. And freeze. Ideally, we'd like to try and get across to Ireland here, but we've got no way of building ships just yet. A trader would be of benefit to us, it really would. But we want to try and get this, the slipway here. And what do we have? 1,106 again. Let's take us to 3,500. When we get to about 5,000 here, we'll start saving a little bit of money. Then we'll probably try and look at getting a ship here so we can get across to Ireland and start trading with the Irish. Maybe even get an alliance with them. And that'll also allow us to go into Europe. Uh, maybe even to the Frankish Empire. With the trade with the Frankish Empire would be fantastic. Alright, now something else we can really do here. We don't really want to recruit any more units just yet. But can we really train anybody? Oh, look at that. There's another barley farm here. That would absorb a huge amount of our money. <coughs> can we retrain really anybody? No, we can't retrain really anybody just yet. We have retrained really most of this army here. Uh, that was initially initially here to start with, but hopefully we can retrain some of them in the future because that does give them a much greater degree of strength there. Now our diplomat, I believe, is we've got we've got trade with Wessex or a Saxon here. Wessex town here, we've got, oh look at that there, that's a massive city, that's London right there. Um, we've got trade with Mercia, we've got trade with East Anglia, we're al allied and we've got trade with Wales, I'm not sure how Wales are doing actually. That's our diplomat there. Be of service. You can actually stay there to keep an eye on, the, on that, actually we'll send our spy. Yes, my king. No, actually we'll leave our spy here. Just to keep an eye on things, quiet. this in here. Very, very important we do that. Alright, we're going to end the turn, my friends. Once again, we're just going to let that bank here build up a little bit. Rebels are moving away again. 338. 1063, that's going down. 4451. Actually, not doing too bad here at all. I wonder if we can get that slip weight. That clearance here. Horse mill, fishing grounds. Not just yet. We, we need to try and get ourselves. We've got a barley field as well. I think we'll try and push the tr the farming here a bit, and just try and get our farming income up a little bit more. We can rely on the, the sort of the excellent fertile lands here of Scotland to try and boost our farming as much as we can. As you can see, the farming is probably one of our biggest incomes apart from taxes. Now the taxes are holding up pretty steadily here. We've got normal tax rate here, which given us growth. It's growing quite well there. Crinan growing again, almost at 2,000. That'll be a good income for us, a good boost there for us. Glamac, Folte, Again, not a brilliant growth rate, but we've got a high tax rate there because we need to sort of supplement that. Half a percent growth here, pushing towards 4,500 here. Leave this, yeah, 2100. So it's a lot low tax, but some 1%. We can actually increase that there, but we really want this, to, this Elgin here to be quite a powerful force here in the sort of the 
highlands here of Scotland. We've got a mine here as well. We've got no merchant, which is a bit of a... Because otherwise you'd have extra income from the sheep. The sheep give you a huge boost to income, they really do. Diplomacy here. The only enemies we've got are rebels. Everybody else is okay with us here, so let all the others fight themselves, silly. As you can see, they're all enemies with the Vikings as well, which is great. Which means the Vikings are focused elsewhere and allow, give us time to get our armies up and running here. Okay, let's end the turn there. Yardum of Vestfold. That's a big hit there as well, finances, it really is. But we're still doing okay here. 2252, two, that's gone down probably because of winter. So hopefully that barley field will be ready soon. Hot springs. <coughs> Midden. A shrine. We don't really need those yet. We can only, we'll only really use those if we take over a land and the populace aren't very happy with us at the moment. Everybody's happy here. What I'd like to start doing is transferring some of these troops down, I think, to air. Let's start building this army we need. And this gentleman here's command isn't very good. Mind you, this one, Urad Mac Ildlib is... <laughs> High King of the Picts. Faction leader. So I think, my friends, we are going to decide who we want to take this fight. We don't really want the faction leader to go in there. We don't really want that. So let's we got another commander here we might be able to use. Oh, don't. Oh, but he's got no good command. His dread, though, is pretty high. His loyalty is, and his influence is exceptional. Domnal the Mad. I like him already. Now what does he have? Eager, dangerously mad. Oh good. Oh minus three command, minus three authority. No, I don't think that gentleman's gonna be too good as a leader of, of men. What do we have here? Oh. Air apparent, promising commander, energetic, honourable ruler, mostly rational, smart, Alpes, Alpine, sadly, sadly ignorant. Oh, 5% penalty in all trading income. Whoa, that's why. It might be not too bad to kill him off, but... I think he'll be the commander we're going to use. Aye, my liege. Because he seems a pretty good commander, actually. Aspiring, eager. Calm when outnumbered. Oh, actually, he could be pretty good, actually. Ignorant. Look at that, we're taking a hit on all the trade and tax income for these gentlemen, that's why we're going to start transferring units down here. My king! March! To build this army we up march here. march no further today. Aye, lord. Where have we got, have we got any harass warriors? Oh, look at these islands. My harassment. king! Aye, onward! Sight. It's a long way to come, but we shall... Oh, harass warriors, Aye, lord. they are tough. Aye. Forward! I think we'll send Aye. some huntsmen down king. here as well. Aye! March! Move out! Onward! Move out! Armored warband. Yeah, I think we'll take a armored warband as well. Aye, Lord! March! Onward! Aye! Joining our forces, my king! We march no further today. We've marched our limit. We're sending a good compliment down there. We've left some, we've left three Celtic warriors here to guard and three excellent gen. Look at that, he's a real fantastic, but he is the faction leader. We don't want to lose him. Ooh, 3,020, no, 778 here. Take a little bit of a hit there on our old profits, but still. Send the turn. Normandy, no problem. Ho, ho. Will that boost our income here? Barley farm has been completed. Excellent. 
Commercial 12. Oh, look at that. 781 in profits. Thank you very much, good sir. 2180. That's actually gone down there. I'm not impressed at all by that. But taxes have gone up because, of course, when producing more, we're able to sell more. 3032. Let's get these gentlemen moving. Aye, Lord. March. Aye. Let's all Aye. Climb into one. Forward. Aye, Lord. Move out. We mark my king. Onward. Aye. My king. We march. Aye. We've marched our limit. Aye, Lord. We march no further today. I know. You don't go very far. Pictish spearmen, gentlemen. And Highland clansmen. I think we'll pull one Highland king. clansmen out of here. Move out! We're going to start training the Highlands of their warriors. Aye. And we're going to start Aye, moving them down in preparation Aye. for the Forward. battle with the rebels. First of all, we've got to dispose of these rebels here first. I've a claymore for you here, Jimmy. Yes, yeah, so I've got a bit I'll more for you, I'll rip off your friend. head and spit down your neck. Yeah, charming man, You're, you are as well. Let's, oh, I think we'll have an Iraq warrior moving into uh, here March. as well. From we've the marched our limit. Chilean. Pretty much drained quite a lot of troops from the sort of highlands in central central Scotland here, but it'll prove its worth in the end if things go our way. Again, we're going to try and build up a little bit of a pot of gold here, just to be able to. We could get this here, trader. That increased tradable goods gain. Our income would then, of course, go upwards. I think we might just do that, and let's start. It would be best to have that trader though. Got barley farm here again. I'm gonna increase that trade. Let's do that there. We're trying to get barley farm in all of the areas. We've got that sort of coherent structure here to our farming. And farming does play a huge part of our in income. Aye, Lord. In the turn. Winter again. Oh, gen oh, look at that. Ach, and oh, they've invaded Frank, Frankish capital there. Wow. Imagine that was to fall. That would be a real shocker. Look at the size of these Viking armies. They're just massive. You just don't want to mess with them at all. I sort of rather have peace with them. Oh, look at that midnight. Seven hundred fifty-seven. That's gone down. King's post of three thousand. Corruption another three hundred thirty-one. We're just about keeping ourselves afloat here in terms of that. But still, we've got the army now. I starting can't to build. Move out. Aye, aye. <laughs> Forward. <laughs> My king. That's a wonderful. Move out. Aye, really lord. Is. Aye. Forward. My king. Between all the aye, aye, lord. All around Scotland here. Aye. Combining the armies, sire. Aye, Lord. That's a nice strike. We've marched we've got our there. limit. Mind you, this general is pretty spectacular. Adgal of Old Clut the Glorious. I think we might have this gentleman, Arta, Artgal, of Alt the Glut, of Clut, of Alt Clut the Glorious. That's a wonderful title. going to combine them. What we're going to do, well, we've got this army here together. I think we'll start putting together quite the force. We don't have any cavalry at the moment, which is a bit of a hindrance to us. But still, have a claymore for you here, Jimmy. I've got a little bit more for you, my friend. I don't think you're going to enjoy it. We've got plenty of plenty of archers here. I think we've got my plenty king. of men here to start removing these rebels. Whoa, 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 whoa! A Viking village there. Tubam Hoy. Mahoyer didn't see that Viking right off our I mean, coast there. That is, and why isn't that growing there? Oh, of course, we've got rid of the general. What an idiot I am! We're going to send one of these generals back. We're going to send this general Aye, back to here. That's more like it. Now, when this gentleman leaves here, that's going to give us a problem. Do you have an overflow of generals somewhere? No, we don't. Yes, we do indeed, sir. 
I my think lady. we'll send this gentleman down here to administer air whilst we watch. are in battle. We camp here until morning. Let's end the turn. Let's get that military builder moving as much as we can here. But I didn't see the Vikings there. That does not bode well. He's always exiled. Who's he's left for, for the British Isles to support King Alfred of the Great? Oh, he's the Danes. Whoa. Aye. Plot, plot thickens. Aye, my liege. Right, let's start constructing this army here. Aye, my liege. Bringing them in. Aye, my liege. We don't need a very high tax rate. Thank you very much, good sir. And why exactly is a very high tax rate here? Thank you. Got no idea why that just suddenly appeared, but that is not going to be happening at all. Okay, let's start constructing Aye, our army leech. here. No, we've got harass warriors. Now we need another harass warrior. Aye, king. That. Aye, forward. Aye, three Highland clans. Joining our forces. And we've got two spearmen. We definitely need. Aye, lord. Aye. Archers. My king, march! Merging armies, sire. Of Celtic I nobles. Lord. Onward! Combining the armies, sire. Celtic warrior. My Actually, king, march! Might be best for us to I lord. these and put in some I. I. of those who have Forward. been... Ah, that's more like it. I. And My king, march! Let's get the best troops. Let's not Merging just armies, sire. put any troops we feel I. like. Let's get these. Onward! I. Joining our forces. Aye, Lord. Don't need speed king. militia in our army, I don't think. Aye. Combining the armies, sire. My king. Celtic warriors. Aye, Lord. Move out. Merging nice. armies, sire. Aye, my liege. We've got two of those, I think we'll have. My king. Two more here. Aye, Lord. Onward. Combining the armies, sire. More Celtic warriors. My Look king. At that. Merging armies, sire. I think Aye, we're going to strike liege. next turn. Look at that. What a magnificent sight it really is. We march to glory. The full. Aye, can my we, liege. Can we put another arm? Can we put another unit? Aye, lord. Combining the armies, that. sire. That's a magnificent sight, my friends. Plot thickens. Plot thickens. Ah, Indulf Mac, Ild Ildlib, and coming of age, Kenneth. Where is Kenneth? He's lazy, which is fantastic. We're taking such a hit to our tax income. We really are. Chivalrous father, talent with numbers. Actually, no, he's 5% bonus income. 10% build points. Siege equipment, excellent. Sociable. Promising strategist, excellent. Sheep. Oh, actually, I take it back. He's actually pretty good. Talent for command. Excuse me, noise in the background, my friends. That is my dog, of course, looking for attention. We have to be careful here of this. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly send At our spy up to here. They shall not and see me, sire. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, considering the amount of experience they've got here and armor. Right. Aye, my liege. Aye, sire. By your will, sire, we shall engage. I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck. Aye, my liege. Actually, let's move. move Set a watch. The river here we we can. camp here until morning. Set a watch. We camp here until morning. 236. What are we, have we got anything being constructed here? I don't believe so. We just gotta watch our money here. We don't start falling behind in terms of money. It's the last we need here. We do have a lot. Maybe we've got that very fine balance in act here with a tax. See, that's very high tax rate. We just... We want that growth to increase. Let's get this town up and running here. We want to lower the tax there a bit. Right. Aye, my liege. 
I'm going to try and avoid bringing these gentlemen in as well. That's what we've got to be careful of. I'm only here to fight the Yagalus. End the turn. Now let's see if we can force these rebels to attack us. Come on, rebels. Let's see what you got. Not a thing. The Frankish king gives the Normandy area to stop the Bazinga. Excuse any noise there, my friends. <coughs> Definitely excuse any noise. Fair in rule plus one to chivalry. Yeah. 296. 259. That's, that farming is not doing too well there at all. I think it could be the seasons. We need to remove Aye, this gentleman leech. here. I think we're going to attack this gentleman immediately. Leading the men with <laughs> honor, sire. 1378 against Captain Girik. Uh, we should attack them, sir. Could attempt them, no, we can't. Let's take this fight, my friends. This is could be the first the stage of us of fighting here and attack. taking the city off the rebels here. This will be a glorious battle, my friends. The first of Scotland's great leaps into what oh, is perfect is absolutely perfect i think we shall start deployment units await my orders oh, what a magnificent sight okay let's get these gentlemen set up here Light warriors here. Where are our archers? There they are, right in front. And let's get these gentlemen deployed. Actually, they're pretty well deployed here. We've actually got this pretty well deployed anyway. I've forgotten all the sort of the angles here. This very, very quick. I'll have to adjust the. Can we adjust the settings here? A little bit too quick there. That's a bit more like it. Oh, that's a bit more like it. That's more like it. Thank you very much, good sir. That's more like it. Right. Now, get Celtic warriors. We'll put our light infantry on the on the flanks here. Heavy nobles there. Armored spearmen in the front. We got Arras. And Arras warriors here, heavy infantry. We want to try and take as many down as we possibly can here. Now we've got. Oh, what a wonderful sight! Look at that. Celtic warriors. I think we might pull one of these off the front lines here. I'm over to the other side here to join these light warriors here. I'm going to try and push in on the sides here. Just to harass when we can. Advance! So pretty good set. We want to try and hit these with the bows as best we can. Oh, look at that. Let's get these gentlemen set up here. I'm just so used to the Units, march. Empire. Units, march. Units, march. Words, ignite missiles. Steady, gentlemen, steady. That's it. Get them what for. Try and tie them out. Oh, 
my wood, I am rusty on this. I've got to really start picking up my pieces here, I really do. The broken. battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Gonna crash into the side of these here. Units, Zoom in here, so some fighting. gentlemen here from this only half the enemy force <laughs> remains The enemy general has no <laughs> honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Charge! What? What? Get in there, gentlemen, if you would, please. Reform. Look how our yes. cowardly foe run. All of Christendom will be in awe of the victory that we have won here today. Right there. We just, oh, look at that. We've got enough to even take... Can, to continue even forget my words out. Continue on to siege the city, my friends. Ah. But yeah, that'll teach you, you fiend. Mess with Scotland. A proud victory yes, for Scotland's victory, finest. But not our last. Of that I can assure you, my friends. Wait, can we? Aye, my liege. Aye. Look at that mercenary feel. Oh, Welsh longbowmen. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Lithsmen. Bythonic hunters. Saxon mercenaries. None of these are really as good as ours. We've got Celtic warband. Chodua. Bythonic brigands. Brythonic skirmishers, none of really as good as ours, are they? But really, we could go on here and, and siege this city. I think that's what we're going to do straight Aye, off the bat lead. here. 
By your will, sire, we equipment. shall engage. And we shall maintain we shall siege here. We're going to take them free, my friends. Them free shall be ours. We hold them at siege. Ooh, that's quite a lot there they've got. That's a pretty strong band there. Look at that, 5,294. That's only because we lost a few men here. Let's ease the wage pressure there. Can we make the most of that by maybe trying to ins get the coastal clearance here? Creating a port for this settlement. I think we'll try and get a port here. That's a big sort of investment but still if we can get them free so it would open up all of this for us here I'll try and bring these brigands to fall upon the Scottish sword here right, let's end look how we're doing here diplomacy we're doing pretty well actually here not Scottish bar your highness how's he doing in your highness 47% Celtic culture here Beric here all of it shall be ours eventually. Patience, my friends. Patience is a virtue that's in the turn here. Yes, you fiends. Minus 1988. Ooh, that's actually pretty good there. 1035. We've still taken the wages have taken a hit, that's why the army are keeping the wages here pretty high. Farming is still not brilliant, but still. Get a port here. It will definitely give a give us a boost here. We might even to get across. Got quite a lot of timber here. Oh look at that silver there. This is the main goal here. If they come out for us, we shall hit them hard, my friends. My oh. king! March! Aye, joining our forces. Onward! Look what we got. We've got enough. We can't do anything there. March! That'll do him today, him sire. Aye! Send the turn. Don't do anything silly now, Vikings. Nothing silly at all, thank you very much. Aye, lord. Aye. Forward! Your money is Mercy good with us, number one. The new coastal clearance has already begun. Two to eight, look at that. Probably gotta wait until that is up again until we can get that. Trade fleet's available one. Got a two field system, population growth bonus, zero point five percent grain pit. We've got quite a few nice options here in this town here. Hostel, public order, and a spy. Culture conversion bonus. What do we get coastal clearance here? No, I think what we will do is we. Oh, look at that. We probably need to start recruiting some more men eventually. But horse mill. What if we get for the two field system here? Or we'll go for a trader, increasing tradable goods. I think that would probably be better for us, to be honest with you. Because we want to try and increase our trade as best we can. Maybe get to a thousand for the trade. That will be definitely a big boost for us. <coughs> I'm okay. Opening talks for their dignity. Open to an alliance here. Mind you, they're an enemy of every single person. That would that would really put us in quite. What if they would be offered? Oh, that's demanding. They're not going to like that. I think we'll just leave things as they are. We don't want to really sort of rock the boat, as it were. By damn, if we can bring these. Oh, look at that! They're starting to go down. They're starting to take attrition now, which is good for us. Let's end the turn. Let's keep that money coming in. Thank you very much, good sir. You leave our sheep alone, sir. Come on, you rebel fiends. That is looking very...
very nice there, 565 in trade. Oh, look at that. Relations improved. Perfect relations. Perfect with them. There it is. Tradable goods eventually. We want to try and push our tradable goods as best we can here while we got the money coming in. Well, things are looking up for us. We've just got to take Dum Dumfries if we can now. Come on now, gentlemen. Let's end the turn. We could have another battle here, my friends. Knock down, lads. Lift the siege. We're taking it. Hang on, what what is just What the place just what? He's conf Pull back yeah. and regroup. What's happened here? That'll do him today, sire. What just happened? Why did... Whoa, he just converted to rebel! I... I just don't know what even happened there. I got no idea what happened there. Marching to battle, sire. How... What? 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 I've got no idea what just happened. Don't think we lost all those men because we held the siege for too long. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Whoa! He's taken all the men with him. I don't believe it. We've got to build an entire brand new army again. Oh my word, Could that is an absolute disaster. Custom, Have you something new to trade with us? Oh my word, this is absolutely beyond words bad. Right, looks like we've got to invest in another army now. There's no point in panicking. Oh, damn, that's going to hurt. Right, let's just, in, let's just do it. We have to come back and hit them hard. Right, we're taking this gentleman next. As our commander. Where to? I've got to go back to... I don't believe it. He's, he's, he's traded us and moved today. down. That is beyond words what? bad for us. They've actually betrayed us and gone to rebel. That'll do him today, that sire. Fiend there. Right, we have to move. Aye, Aye gentlemen. Move, move out. to air here. See That'll if we can hold against today, that. Sire. Aye. To move these gentlemen as well. Onward. Rebuild another army. And that is the way it goes. We just gotta accept that that's what's happened. No point in crying over spilt milk. Doesn't get you anywhere at all. Send the turn, see what happens. Damn it, I don't believe it, you absolute curs. We'll take that. Trader, brilliant. 590 here for trade, which is wonderful to see. Of course, that's apps. The army keepers dropped like a stone, so it's given us quite a lot of, a little bit of a boost there. Right, this time we're not going to give them the chance to be able Aye, to s s take what, take that. Not a chance. Aye, Aye Lord. <sighs> Move out. We have a learned betrayal, my friend. Betrayal. My king. What the blazes? Have a claymore for you here, Jimmy. Be careful Aye. with that there. We'll deal with them in our own time, but first we've got to March. deal with these gentlemen here. That'll do them today, sire. Right, let's get this army up and running here. We have some Welsh skirmishers. They did very well on the flanks. I'll be damned if we're going to be just betrayed like that. We were on the verge of taking this rebel town, but nope. We should have sieged it and just taken it. But it makes for an interesting campaign. Damn you, you rebel fiends. Ooh, France.
France has been hit there, Paris has been hit. Wow. That is going to hurt. Twelve thousand income. Twelve thousand income. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. That is incredible. We're starting to build up a quite nice little... Aye, Lord. Aye. Forward! Right. My king. Onward! We're going to need some more archers. Got them in, in production here. Or in recruitment, should I say. Be the wrong word to use. Trading post. Oh, a merchant. I think we need one of them. I think we'll definitely take the most of that there. Thank you very much, good sir. this army being recruited into place and we're going to siege that place and we will attack it oh, yes. I lord uh, you will definitely come my king down to here we've marched our limit put an end to these fiends let's end the turn. Oh, look at that 2169585 their trade Merchant trade one seven seven four seven six six for the. Uh. Aye, move out. As I said, no point in crying. Over spilt milk. My king. What's happened Aye. has happened. It's what you do in Aye. the future that dictates. Forward. We march no further today. How you perform? If we can get this merchant out here from here as well. That ticking away there. In Brahinis. Plus we imagine oh, five percent bonus in all trading come brilliant. Break breaking. He's got oh yeah, it's shooter. He, oh look at that. Excellent. Excellent for us. Aye, Lord. No, gentlemen. Guess we gotta wait for that to be increased there. Get fishing grounds, which would give us population growth and increased trade of goods. Which I think we'll do because we've got a good pot of money here, so we might as well make the most of it and try and increase our trade where we've got that money. Try and increase everything here. We've got a trade. I think we'll do that as well. Yeah, let's really have a boost of our income and our our economy, as it were, our infrastructure. Let's end the turn. We gotta rebuild this army here. These fiends that I mean, attacked us there. Damn, the Vikings are absolutely brutalizing everybody here. Yes, Let's get some spy down here and see what's going on. Moving quietly. There's a traitorous. I'd fiend. welcome Look a trial him. by arms to end this feud. To end this feud. Aye. You jest, Onward. surely, sir. That'll do him today, sire. Aye, Lord. Aye. Aye. Forward. We've marched our limit. Where are those Arras troops? We've got no more. He's, he's taken those Arras troops with him. And they were the, I mean, well, best as well they were. The absolute best. Those Arras troops were just phenomenal to have. Now wait a minute, wait just a moment. Celtic My berserkers? King. I think so. Move out! Yeah, they're the Arras, Arras warriors. My king! Move out! <sighs> Aye, Lord. You're gonna suffer. They are going to suffer beyond words, I can assure you. Aye!
my king. Aye. Forward. Mark. Aye, lord. Onward. Ah, look at this. Ah, where's your monster? Yes. Wonderful to see. Let's get that trade up and running, please, gentlemen. see why probably because the army is here it's squashed growth so I think what we probably do is get a horse mill here I'll we'll probably get a trader we've got to try and get that population growth up and running I think we'll do that when we've got the chance Aye. we're not going to strike until we've got Aye. everything in Forward. position we we'll have another Celtic warrior here We're going to take this city, I swear to you, we will, my friends, believe it. I look forward to fighting you, you will die, my sir. My king! Onward! By this hand. Ooh. Excellent, everybody's at peace, which is good for our trade. At your service. Take a little bit of a hit there, but still. Trade is fluctuating quite vigorously here. We've got a trading post at least. Let's try and get that up and running as quickly as we can there with. We could get a coastal clearance here as well, we can, but we'll just let that, let this build up a little bit here. What have we got here? I think we'll get a coastal clearance for, it's a quite a major town here. Bone Carvers, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, good sir. Bone Carvers Guild, I think we'll have that increase, and tracks income bonus, I think so. Thank you gentlemen. Right, you absolute fiends. Now we're going to crush you. This is the gentleman that's going to take that fight. Aye, my king. Combining the armies, sir. Oh, you're going Aye, to pay with king. your very life, sir. Turn. Yeah, you run, you coward, you cur. One nine two six. Uh, we're starting to see that, but where to? Confirming, Marching sir. to battle, sire. I starting with the siege. I sire. You the siege goes as planned. So fiends there, sir. Oh. Right. I think, though, my friends, on that note here of this siege, we're going to end this episode here, the second episode of this double upload, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed it. We've actually done, I think, better than we actually thought because I, you know, where we, where that army rebelled. I mean, this army just completely just collapsed. I don't know. I don't know whether I'd maintain the siege for too long, but I thought these would be coming out towards us. I mean, turns until surrender four. What happened was that commander rebelled against us. We, our, our army either joined him or dissipated. They just did they just went into the hills, into the highlands. So it's an utter betrayal that really did put us at its back. But actually, it's actually given us a bit of breathing space in terms of the economy as well, our income. Our income has shot us, given us enough chance to actually boost these cities pretty well here. You know, we really do find these towns now starting to increase quite significantly. If we get a bone trick, a bone carver as well. <coughs> Excuse me, my friends. That really is excellent here. Got a hostel. What's this? A stew? 
minus five. Ah, an assassin. Anything else we can get yet? Nope, nothing yet. I wish we can indeed. But we're going to try and increase. We've got a village council here, but we, ideally we've got a warrior's hold. I think we get a warrior's hold as well. It's 5,000. That might be a pretty good to dive into eventually and get that making this the Apsu hub, but of course our capital is so far away from the borders we've got to rely on sending troops downwards, but if we can get this, we can get Dumfries, this town here will act as sort of the military garrison, as the sort of economic hub here, as you can see that army moved away there. So we can take this, then we should put ourselves into good order. Good order indeed. And can oh, get a merchant as well, thank you good sir. I think what we can do is we can actually cancel the recruitment here of these. Just get the merchant, we can start bringing a bit more income there. And if we can get another merchant somewhere else, maybe here, but that low tack, that's going to absolutely give us a kicking there, isn't it? Can we get. Oh, Weaver's got it. Weaver's Guild. A stew, Bardic Circle. Ideally, what we need. to get a trader here as well try and boost this sort of borderlands here there because these are looking pretty healthy up here got to be careful most of these mercy and they're coming to Scotland trying to take what we've got here but I what I can do is we're going to go to this mine here we're going to go to the silver here and take this this will give us the biggest boost but my friends I'm going to end this episode here I hope you've enjoyed it we end on the siege of Dumfries or Dunfris there's now Dumfries now Dunfris so I hope you've enjoyed this episode, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed both of these episodes. Again, please keep your comments coming down below. I know I haven't given, I haven't given you any time to sort of reply to my first episode because I've done two at the same time. But please, for both of them, my friends, please put your comments down, whatever they may be. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, this, this brand new sort of let's play of this wonderful mod. It really is a fantastic mod. I'm enjoying it immensely. Medieval 2 is one of my favourite games, Total War games ever, if not one of my favourite games ever. So we've enjoyed it my friends. If you have, again, please comment, like and subscribe. Get your comments down below my friends. I'm going to need your help with this campaign. I really am, as always. Hope your week is going. Hope the start of your week is going well my friends. Be safe what you're doing. Hope everything goes well for you. But until next time my friends, bye for now.